All right, I just kind of stopped and started the recording back up. Because, uh... Oh, hey, Mugman. But yeah, I cut out some troubleshooting. I don't know, the video capture may not be the smoothest thing in the world, but it might just have to do. What the? I don't think the window is in focus, it wasn't. That would, uh... So now I'm getting some for real lag. Get the star on the wall. Okay, now it's lagging. Now it's lagging a lot on my end, so... Pardon the technical difficulties. Uh, really apologies for this. Okay. That's what I was doing last time. Hopefully it'll still treat me okay. See the shadow on the wall. What are you, what are you talking about, Jimmy? Oh wow, that looks really freaking choppy. What, uh, what wall exactly? star door. The shadow on the wall. Like, our, we're not talking about this thing, are we? Oh, the checkered one. Oh, I, I see, I see, I see. Well, that was hidden in a half. Alright, uh, <clears throat> if this video is as choppy to you guys as it is to me, I might have to do something about it. Like, tell me, is the video showing up? Well, I could probably just pull it up on this iPad here and find out. No, actually, it... Let me see, let me see. Just running around a little bit. No, actually, on my end, it's on uh, the stream itself. It looks pretty smooth. It looks like. So I guess maybe it's just an OBS preview thing. So I guess never mind that. In just a second, I will continue. All right. So let's do it. Let's do this thing. Oh, don't want to walk off, Mario. Walk off into the abyss. Alright, anyway, in between this one and the last one, a mystery informant has told me of how to get a specific star. Psst, it's... Psst, it's Langton! 
So, I'm gonna try and get this star. And, you know, keep missing the, uh, missing the platform. <laughs> I might need to readjust the analog. Nope, that ain't it. Technical issues, the stream. Yeah, you missed this music. I know you did, Pally. Oh, got a little bit of a frame drop. Got a little bit of a can't see nothing. Got a little bit of a lack of two. Got a little bit of me burping, sorry. Alright. Now I remember one of these is on... God dang it. Uh, well, one of these is behind the pipe, but the one we're gonna have trouble with, confirmed, is the... Um, uh... Could you not? Uh, did I just goof it up? Does it come back? Yeah, it does. The one we're gonna have trouble with is the one on the sail, basically. Right, right. I gotta set it down. I gotta crouch to set it down. Oh, you mean you mean this box? There's a there's a shell in that. camera. Er yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, thank you for the heal. This is gonna take me a minute. Ah, dang it. Okay. Gotta at least get a double jump. And that is not how you do it. Glee. camera here does not lend to fun times. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on! Yes. Hang
Sorry about that. gone on. There we go. Now I have to get down to that sail. Not Mario. Well, it healed me at least. Come on, lack of two. Lack of two. Ah! Alright, let's try that once more. Let's not just miss the platform. Let's do it. I didn't get that one yet, so I know that much at least. So we're gonna get more shell excitement at some point anyway. I think I got the oh, book. I think I got the one on the the uh, rooftop. So I think we're good on that regard. On that, in that respect. Alright, alright. Oh, almost. Almost got it on there. No, I'm saying I think there is a star up there. I just think I've got it already. Oh my god, the camera there is unblairable. And now we gotta do deal with Mr. Lakitu here again. And being constantly out of reach. Come on. I don't got time to deal with you. Oh, no, please, god. Getting the analog just so on this is kind of a challenge. Alright. Now for some precision platforming, which we all know this game does so well. Oh god. Camera. I didn't. Alright, so... This is the star my mystery informant has told me about. It is... quite devious. And I was kind of on its trail last time, but I didn't quite, uh, I didn't quite do it. I lost the scent. So now we are going to get it for real. Alright, so it does, in fact, have to do with, uh, this right here.
Sorry. See, what you gotta do is... You gotta stack them. So stack them just so. Yeah, and then you gotta you gotta get on top, and that's how you do it. A bit obtuse that one. What happens if we keep going down? Do we die? Nah. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad Langton told me about that one, because I don't think I would have guessed. Oh, but we are on, uh, we are on that island, it looks like. Hmm. Question is, uh, how do you get out? Do you just have to quit? How do, how do escape? Is there a warp down here? No, I'm... Maybe you just gotta quit the level, I guess. Let's check the roof while we're here. Okay, there we are. Up on the roof. Oh, oh. Oh. Lose my hat, but still on the roof. Okay, this this block is unavailable to me currently. Was there something up higher than that? Was that the joke? Wait, wait, wait. I see a coin. I might have screwed it up, I don't know. Well, let's just uh, get that star in the babam place first. Like, I know where one of them is. I think it's kind of over there in the distance. But we want to do that, hit that. Now we want to kind of make a mad dash for the stuff. Oh. Well, well. well. While we're down here, let's uh, just do a double check of where the thing we're looking for actually is.
see what uh it's right there all right so it's the one just next to this island here Let's try and get that. Alright, note to self. Do not jump like a madman, because that causes the shells to break. All the time, constantly. I'm... I'm confused. Oh, maybe I gotta shoot, shoot like out of the cannon at it. That would make some degree of sense, maybe. Um, did that pokey just fall in the cannon? That it did. That it did. Yeah, take massive damage. Can't even get Pokey's coin because he fell in the cannon. I'm gonna die. I probably should have gotten in the water to restore my health, but I didn't. Because I'm a fool. Almost hit that. All right, get in the cannon. Get in the cannon. I don't got time for this. Ah! Well, I wouldn't have hit it anyway. I forget how many I actually need to get into the next area. I think it was 12. Okay, let's try that again. Would it be faster to just do it like this? I doubt it. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Maybe. Maybe faster. Pardon me. Great, great. I'm glad that still happens. Gotta wait for the water bubble to go away. Oh, that was an impressive wall jump, Mayro. Eleven out of ten stars. <laughs> Look, I get the idea. I get that it's like a battlefield, but god, these things are annoying. Ugh. 
I don't know. I don't know about this one. I'm gonna leave it for a second. I'll check the roof one more time just to be safe. Oh, I still don't have my hat. <laughs> I have just realized. <laughs> no, Mario, please. I'm trying to get on top of the second block, which may or may not actually be doable. By human means. Oh, it is. There's nothing up here, but it, Mario. I don't know, either there's no star there or something's bugged. Oh god. Oh god, frame rate. Is my hat around here? If I don't find my hat, Andy's not gonna take me to cowboy camp. Oh god, here we go again. <laughs> I was being called about Lisa's credit card account. Probably should go to the, the fair. Fair area. Try and get that uh, jumping across terrible things star that I haven't been able to get. We want the analog to be good for this though. Lord, do we ever. Uh, oh god, why, Mario? Why must you defy me? You plumber fool. Why do you defy my wishes? Uh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Let's just go into the level. I mean, I told you, my man. I told you I got it. I knew that I had it. At least I thought that I knew that I had. Alright, let's do the hopping thing without a hat, because I don't know how to get I don't know where my hat is. And inevitably have the uh somewhat touchy analog destroy my entire face. That's gonna be fun. Alright, didn't long jump right. Can I get my hat back, please? Mamma mia. Looks like the game over is the only way. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do this thing. We're gonna do it right. That'll do. And I still don't have my hat back. Uh.
Why do you deny me? Why do you forsake me? Why does this analog not want to do what I want it to do? I smell doom around the corner. Let's go for it. Let's go for it, gents. Like, I'm sorry, this analog is proving quite frustrating. Uh, yes, Batman. Yes, look how Mario flips around. Oh, yes. Try to figure out how to get on top of that tree, but I have a feeling we can't do that yet. into the side of the box as long as I land on it. Is there is there like any way to just set touch micro macros? I don't think there is. Well Astrodome kid, this is Mario's holiday. A hack that fills me with many emotions. Not all of them good. <laughs> some of them good. But also some of them make me want to die. So. Yeah, because you see the cursor, it's off center there. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a close look at this tree. How you get up this tree? How you how you how you do that? Do I even need another star? That that's a good question. And a question that I should endeavor myself to disco discover the answer of. It's like because I think you're probably gonna get the wing cap somewhere, and then that's how you're expected to get the star on top of the tree. The abyss I slide it into. You mean this? I think it's just a pit. Yeah, I had a feeling it was behind the star door. So that does not help me now. Ah. Uh. 
I wasn't doing that. Hey, let's just, let's just, let's try it one more time. Why not? Now, which abyss did I slide into was the question. I mean, do I have enough stars? Do I need one more star? Because all these stars are kind of a pain in the butt! The abyss near the first level. You mean like this one? Super Mario 64 DS, they say. It's a great idea. There's a coin. But I have a feeling that's a wing cap coin. Super Mario 64 DS, they said. It's a great idea. Put in, you know, we'll, we'll get a 3D platformer, right? We got that. We're gonna give it no analog control whatsoever. Not a bit. And all our controls for sissies. All right, near the tree. Aha! Yeah, that's a that's something. Um. Question is, my my good man. My my good man. How? No, no. Uh, and then I gotta reset the analog because you gotta click to actually Break it, and you'll die, but it will save. Hmm. The breaking of the block. I have been. It's a... Just a bucket of fun being had. Yeah. 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 Mamma mia. Yeah. Mamma mia. Yeah. Yeah. Mamma mia. Yeah. 
I don't want to dive forward. I want to break this. I'm trying to jump kick the block. Lock is in a unfortunate position. See, because I, I don't want to dive. I keep diving. And if I, uh... What, what, what was that? Come on, come on, analog support. What was that? Ah, uh, because it's like the, only the first one actually kicks. Oh, that one was frustratingly close. <laughs> and it's hot in this house. Good stuff, good stuff. Tell me if this fan picks up, I guess. It looks like it is. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Hi. Can't kick the block. Family refuses to turn the air on. Slowly dying. Pardon me. Uh, uh, oh. Slowly, painfully, dying. Immense in unfathomable suffering. Oh, come on. If you play as Yoshi, the blocks disappear. Well, that's... silly. Well, let's, let's check it. They do not... A J slash. You have chosen a good stream to to start with here. Well, that's good. Let's try. Let's try Deweege. Gotta keep, you know, undoing the analog. 
You know, I have, don't feel like bothering at this point and just using the freaking D-pad. Luigi knows my suffering. See, like, the problem is... I feel like with a lot of things in this pack, unfortunately... This isn't- this isn't fun hard. This is just kind of annoying hard. Especially when you have to keep resetting analog controls to click the continue button. Because Nintendo was like, nah, mate, the touchscreen, it's gonna be great. Touchscreen. Touchscreen! Yeah, frame job, touch screen, touch screen analog, touch screen analog, baby. Yeah, mate, we don't need an analog stick, just use the touch screen and that little finger rub thing. It just. I'm sorry. I apologize if I'm going on a bit of a rant here, and I apologize for sort of the uh, thing that went on earlier involving someone walking into my room. I will apologize for that later. I mean, I don't know how how big it actually ended up being, but uh, I will apologize for that. But uh, it's just the problem is this is this just isn't fun to actually try. It's just it's it's annoying. There's just a lot of these, a lot of things in this hack, unfortunately. Now, there's a, there's a fair bit of work put into it, I can see that, I can appreciate that. But, it's just... I don't know, some of these things seem like they're more caught up on the idea, and they don't care if the execution's not that good. Like, yeah, in theory, it's cool. Yeah, I got King Boo. No, well, not technically King Boo, it's just like Big Boo. But it's just like, in theory this is cool, but in execution it's just not any fun to do. It's just an exercise in tedium, really. Which is a shame, because a lot of this hack is really cool, like it looks nice, especially when upscaled. I mean, I don't know if I'd say that, that's kind of a... If you'll pardon me, uh, a bit of a strangely formatted question. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that's a, a good idea, but it's just like... At this point, that in the game that I'm in, pretty much all the stars I can think to get are annoying or probably not possible yet. And I feel like I, I remember slightly feeling this way playing a Super Mario 64 Star Road. There's just... There's just a lot of ideas that seem really good, but they ended, they just end up... You know, not being all that fun. Like, see, I gotta do this platforming across crates thing, but the controls coupled with, you know, the camera and all that, it's just, it's just kind of a, a pain to do. See, like that. Because the analog controls, I mean, I understand. You, you gotta do the best you can with the tech you have, you know. DS didn't have analog. 
Uh, no, I do not play Fortnite. Uh, nothing against it, per se, just... I just haven't played it, you know, that's all that comes down to it. But yeah, it's just like... Uh, and it put me as Mario, who still does not have a cat. So yeah, it's just... Like, if, if for some reason the creator of this hack ever watches this, I, I doubt it, but it's possible. It, it's pretty good, but I feel like some concessions to the player have to be made. Some, some of these things just are too precise for what control you are given. And I apologize if I'm being maybe a little harsh on this hack. I, I, do, I do like it for the most part. It's just that some things need to be tweaked. Some things need to be made easier. Some things just, or just more user-friendly, you know? And I got that, but I'm not gonna get any of the other ones, you know that. But yeah, I apologize. I, I'm, I'm, I'm cooled down a little bit. I, I apologize for kind of getting a little bit irritated. I think the heat kind of does it to me a little bit. Like, we just, you know, we can't have air conditioning in this house. Can't have, you know, good, we can't have good things. Problem is, though, if I try to put on a fan, it's, it's just, it's too loud, you know? Fans sometimes just too loud. My old fan broke. It's about the same kind of fan, but I get the feeling that this kind is noisier. And, you know, that's just not gonna do when you're doing a live stream. And if I open the door, I'm afraid... Open the door, open the window, I'm afraid the same thing's gonna happen with, like, the passing of cars and everything. Which is, I mean, that's just kind of annoying, I say. But at the same time, the unavoidable truth is that it's, it's freaking hot. So, I gotta, I gotta figure something out. Because otherwise I'm gonna like sweat to death in here. And you know, can't stream if you sweat to death. Alright, let's try Yoshi. He's got the flutter jump. I, I released a little too early. I'll be honest though, this was probably one of the first games where I'm honest to God considering cheating just to like give me infinite lives so I don't have to keep resetting the, the, oh, I'm Mario. I didn't mean to be Mario. And see there I feel is the flaw with making a hack of Mario 64 DS. I mean, is it more advanced than the original game? Like the original Mario 64. Maybe. Maybe it is. But the point still stands that I would probably rather... Like, with these controls, I would probably rather just be playing a Mario 64 hack. Because at least then the analogs is native and therefore works without a hitch. And like I said, I appreciate what he's done for this game, you know? Like, it's very impressive, but it's just... Like, here's the problem. This screen right here. All buttons are being pressed. You know, it won't let you continue, so... You know, when I'm using an emulator, I have to unstick my mouse, click continue, and then try to get my analog back. That's kind of the frustrating part of this hack, really. I don't know why I said it there, because if I'm gonna try to be Luigi, I gotta do this. So... And see, like, you know, I can't... If I'm trying to do these precise platforming challenges, Luigi can't be swerving to the left all the time. 
I mean, I don't know. It's possible that it's not designed for a double-sized window or something. Maybe, uh, Skellux, I think is how you say his name. Uh, maybe he just assumed you'd be playing more native resolution. But, uh, I mean, point is, when it comes to me, pixel density be darned, I, I like to be able to see what it is I'm doing. My eyesight's not the best that it could be. Yeah, apologies. I, I, I know the stream isn't really ending up being, you know, funny or probably particularly entertaining. Oh, well. We're on to something there, I think. If only I could choose Luigi without, say it with me, having to rebind my analog. Because, you know, that's it's kind of what it feels like. It feels like every time I choose a different a character besides Mario, I have to, like, rebind my controls. And then Luigi does that, which, as we know, is unacceptable. Luigi, I love you, but quit doing the crazy things that you do. Alright, that'll do. Yeah, there we go. That's what we need, Kong. Like I said, I'm very sorry, guys. I know this is a very cynical stream this time. I didn't, I didn't mean for it to be. Though I guess you know you can't, can't be like. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. You know, sometimes it's just gotta be like this, I guess. Oh my god. Honestly, I, I feel nothing in response to that. Like it was right in front of me, I had it. I just, I don't know what to say about that. Gotta do a long jump there. Let's, let's try it a little bit more. Let's uh, try that some more. It's, a, it's unfortunate and I really do apologize that I'm not probably giving you guys what you came here for. Though granted, I think at least two of you are new, so, <laughs> so maybe you don't know what you came here for.
Yeah, Luigi really does seem to be the best choice for this. Oh my god, please. Okay, note to self, after five, stop. Just stop. Come on, dude. Don't do this to me. Okay. That'll, that'll work, I think. It's just a shame, because it's like every time I have to redo it. I get it in just the right spot, and then I gotta redo it, because, you know, gotta choose Luigi. Because, no, can't use the D-pad to choose Luigi, gotta use the touch screen. Was it worth it, Nintendo? Was it worth it? I'm telling you, if this was Super Mario 64 3DS, we wouldn't have this problem. In a perfect world, it would have been. Okay, now stop. And that one's just farther away because, you know, screw you, I guess. Okay, I'm sorry, that's a bit of a petty thing to complain about, I suppose. I mean, he tells you to put it in the center of the screen. I wish I had a good indicator of where the center was. That would be... Like, if I could just have, like, a little, uh, reticle, reticule, just there to tell me where the center of the screen was so I don't have to keep doing all this guesswork, even that, that would be great. Try one more time. This time I'm gonna do a long jump on that last about to say barrel, but it's a crate. Don't confuse a barrel with a crate. Donkey Kong will not be pleased. At long last. Get your sweet butt I want to save and I also want to get the heck out of this course sorry I hit the microphone sorry if that caused some unfortunate noises to occur Mario over oh so I gotta be Mario uh, <laughs> why you do this to me Gotta be me, bro. Why? I don't know. Still don't got my hat. In his defense, I think that might be just like coded into 64DS is the whole gotta be Mario for the boss thing. Oh god, and my leg is dying. Future predictions. Ah, so I guess this is the uh, teaser. A 16th stage, a large new world will be visited. So many stars, more than Mario has ever collected before. Camera slowly drifting. A new threat, the entire world. Could it be in danger? 
ねI meant to save. Um, there's a star over there. But I don't see a cap. Oh, there, there's a land down here. Hmm, well, this is a nice little place. Some like some was a Yoshi story. Uh, kind of empty though. Is that better or worse than full of pain and misery? I'll let you decide. Oh, well, there's a red coin over here, at least. That's good. This hack is a lot shorter than I figured it would be. I mean, I didn't expect it to be long, but... Oh, there's a coin. Oh, there's a coop. No, coop. I need, I need shell coop. No. No. Alright, let's explore. Had to do that one last time before the series ended. <laughs> that's 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 pretty good. <laughs> yeah 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 Yahoo! This is a predicament I've found myself in. Can I fast forward? Jane, stop this crazy thing! <laughs> I think I can make it back up. Okay, there we go. We are free. Oh, there's another red kern. Is there anything down here? Or is this just for flavor? Seems like just for flavor. But you never can tell with this hack. Ah, there's, there's the flying majig. Hmm, pardon me. Oh. 
And if you land on the stars, you get a mystery prize. So we want to do that whenever able. Well, I mean, you get the cap for a bit longer than I expected. You know, in retrospect, it's a kind of it's kind of a pain in the butt to actually use this power up, but that's not uh, anybody's fault with Nintendo's. What you wanna you wanna gain you wanna gain some altitude? Nah. You don't want to do that. Maybe you got to swoop down real low. Six hours later. Yes, excuse me. I uh, do not. I do not know how I am to get. Oh, I guess I could go to a taller hill. Okay. Let's. Uh, Let's try that. Yeah, I think this is what you are meant to do. Be nice if there is a block like up here. But I suppose not all of our dreams can come true. No, no! I'll probably try to get a few more stars here, do a little cleanup, and then I think we can call that it. A bit of a shame that, it, you know, the stream had to turn out this way, but... But, you know, I guess can't win them all. Or in my case, probably can't win any of them, but you, sometimes you lose a lot more than normal. Oh, no, no, no. I failed. My plan for world domination has failed. But at least I got a star out of the whole thing. Gotta say though, prefer this over, uh, you know, doing precise platforming challenges with these controls, you know what I mean? You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do.
Uh, I don't like I don't like the wing cap. I'm gonna be real with you here. I didn't like it in Mario 64, and I don't like it here. Oh, but I got it. No! But I got it. So now I need to get the stars. Try to remember which ones I have and have not gotten. Uh, yeah, Langton, this is apparently the last level, so... This is probably the last stream of Mario's Holiday. I'm probably not gonna go for 100% because I... <laughs> I did, I did get 100% in this guy's other hack, though, and let me tell you, it was kind of a pain in the butt. No offense, Skelux, but Skelux. But it, 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 it just was, man, I'm sorry. I would like to do some more Mario 64 hacks at some point, though. Uh, though, preferably original Mario 64, instead of, uh... DS because because DS. Uh, no, no enemies that I can tell. Surprisingly laid back for this game. Oh, hey, Langton and Miles. Miles watching on YouTube. That's uncommon. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I might do a stream at some point of Super Mario 64 uh, L Last Impact because that's a pretty good hack. It's it still got its frustrating moments, but I don't know. He's also done a hack of Mario 64, like uh, this is a different guy, I mean, not not this same guy. Okay, now that now I just want to find the the red coins, which I imagine are mostly underwater. Uh, another guy did Mario 64 Last Impact, not Skellux, but I would like to maybe give that a stream, like a full stream, because I was trying to get 100% in that, but I lost my save file before I was able to do it. So I'm probably gonna replay that regardless. May as well be on stream. Uh, he also, the K Kaze Emmanuel also did a hack of Mario 64 that turned it into basically Ocarina of Time, but I do feel like it would be a bit weird to play that one when I have plans of streaming actual Ocarina of Time eventually. So yeah, spoiler alert, I, I do kind of want to stream Ocarina, but I'm going to try and work my way up through the Zelda series first. Get, get done with Zelda 1, hopefully. I mean, I'm pretty far in the Zelda one, so I think it could, I think it could happen. And then, you know, Zelda 2. I would, I would like to do Link to the Past. I've had a bit of a Link to the Past craving recently. So that'd be at least vaguely fun. How much fun was that? Almost some. Also, just because I have this, uh, just because I, I got a, a physical copy of Link to the Past, uh, I think last Christmas, and uh, I would really like to put that to good use. I, I beat it on Game Boy Advance before, but I think it's, you know, I think I need to do it on actual SNES. Oh, there's another one. I mean, this level's a little bit tedious, but like I said, it's not crushing my soul. Like some of the other things that this game's been asking me to do in the past hour.
And yeah, again, apologies that this stream ended up being a little salty. I didn't uh, mean for it to. I think it's just... It's just been one of those... It's been one of those days. So... Like, you know, it's it's just kind of hot. There's a bit of frustration that's been building. I apologize. I'll try to make sure it's not... I'll try to make sure it's not too much like that next time. Just looking for the red coins. Oh, there is one. Was there like, how many of these, how many red coins are there again? I keep forgetting, is it eight? Oh yeah, and also speaking of 3D Mario, I think I've said it numerous times, but I still do eventually want to do a live stream of Sunshine, but I just haven't felt in the mood lately. It will happen though. Best be prepared for it. Do do really love Sunshine though. The good it's a good game. I guess this is a good a good a time as any to talk about this kind of thing when I'm going around swimming looking for red coins. But you know, I guess it's it's as good a time as any to talk about stream plans. Also, another another game that I've been kind of wanting to revisit, and this is kind of a weird one compared to some of the other things I've said. Have any of you guys heard of Retro Game Challenge? Basically that. Commentary well is running dry here. Yeah, I, I think this is basically just supposed to be the post game level. Like, technically speaking, uh, technically speaking, uh, I think I've officially beaten the game by now. And this is just like extra stuff, but I'm doing it anyway. I don't know where those other red coins could be. But, okay, basically, Retro Game Challenge is a game based off of a sort of Japanese, I don't know what I'd call it. Like, it's sort of like a let's play mixed with like a game show reality show kind of thing called Game Center CX. And basically they got their own game. And it's effectively a, a bunch of like faux NES titles. And, uh, the host of the show, uh, I don't know how you pronounce his name exactly. It could be Ar Arino, Arino. I think it might be like Arino because of how the Japanese pronounce words. They tend to put equal emphasis on the syllables. So basically he comes down and he gives you a list of tasks to accomplish in the game. Oh, there's one. And, you know, basically you play the game and you try to do what he has told you to do. And it's pretty cool. And there's a sequel I haven't played that I would like to try and get a hold of at some point. Never actually, that one wasn't ever actually released in America, but uh, it looks cool. I would like to play it. And there is a fan translation, so we could enjoy it in wonderful English. Nah, come here, give me the shell. Give me the shell. Oh, you don't got the shell, do you? You don't got the shell. There's one shell per customer. So I'm just missing that one red coin. Gotta find it. And then I'm just gonna do a few things in the other levels now that I have the wing cap. 
And then we're probably gonna be done. I think I've checked over here. I keep seeing like my stream thing at the corner of my eye and thinking that that's a red coin, but it's not. It's my stream thing. Oh, it does? I didn't know that actually. I'll have to look into that. But yeah, I remember playing it and thinking it was pretty cool. Like you got, you know, a couple of like arcade platformers. You got a Ninja Gaiden parody. You got like, now that last red coin, I am, I'm sort of racking my brain on this one here. But yeah, yeah, you got like a, a, a t even a, a tiny RPG in it. So you get a little bit of everything with that game. So it was pretty interesting. Even if, even when I, I bleh, when I first got it, I didn't even know about the show, and uh, I enjoyed it a fair bit. And I would like to revisit it because that's been a very long time, I think. And since I already have like a DS streaming setup, could work out. Could work out. But I don't know when I'd do it. Hello? I don't know, like, I, at this point I'm kind of sunk cost fallacy, like I kind of want to stop looking for the red coins, but I only got one left. I mean, I don't suppose one of them could be up there. So I guess I'll check, I didn't mean to jump this way, I jumped the wrong way. enjoy the peaceful music. Mm, pardon me, again. Maybe I should check around this hill a bit better. Sorry, but that is the perfect reward for what this game has put me through. Is yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there it is. All right, so now we're just gonna do some stuff in the hub world gonna maybe clean up a couple stars like I said probably not looking to get a hundred percent okay unfortunately I have to as mentioned before bork up my uh, my analog so that I can exit the stage Alright, so yeah, basically that room was full of teasers for the the uh, version of the DS version of Star Road, which I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I was probably gonna stream it. Uh, I think it depends on what tweaks are made in between this and the final release. But yeah, now we can fly. You can fly like a bird in the sky. I don't know if you want to get those coins for anything in particular. Let's see if I can hit this with wing cap. Nope! Still a pain in the butt no matter how you slice it. I'm gonna try getting one of those coins though and see if like one of those numbers appears. That's like, hey, you want to get more of these? Still never found my cat. Mario's gonna end this game without a cat.
I don't want to go fast, please. I don't want to. I don't want to go this fast, please. Oh, coin. I'd like a coin. Freaking draw distance. Can't see the coin until it's like one foot in front of me. Get the coin. Oh, yep. You want to get those coins. It probably is. I know it's from Mario Party. Oh, oh man. But yeah, probably probably not gonna get a hundred percent in this. It's just there's just there's too much heartache, I'm sorry. So I guess we wanna get these coins. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on, come on. Ugh. Eh, coin, 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 coin. Give me coin. God dang it. Ugh. Hmm. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna fall into the abyss and die. Oh, wait, 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 no! No, yes! <laughs> I almost saved myself, but I got cocky. Anyway, uh, since I don't have the patience to get uh, those two stars, probably. I'm gonna try and get the one on top of the tree to end an era of mystery and mystique. We're gonna end an era tonight, fellas. Sound is pretty fu- oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I, st I still have the audio delay on. God, somebody kill me. I want to die. And that's why I really do think there should be some kind of like filter for it so I could just tick it on and off instead of having to go into advanced audio settings. Eh. Oh well, if you're if you'll pardon my French, this this stream was kind of a shit show anyway. I need to get the... I need to get it. Apologies that y'all have had to put up with that for so long. My own ineptitude is starting to depress me. End of an era. Is there anything else I needed to do here? 
with the wing cap. I think there's an island in the distance. Let's before I finish it off, let's check that out. I don't think I ever looked at that. Did I ever get here? It's just a one up. Hallelujah. If I could just set up a batch file to like automatically change the variable or something, that would be great. Anyway. I guess that's uh, the end of it. Should probably change this to an actual readable font. Hang on, let me let me let me spruce this up a little bit. Spruced up live. Let's let's uh do a little bit of sprucing, you and I. This is, these are the lyrics to this song. Hang on, can I add a bit of a, a black backdrop to this? Kinda, yeah, we can, we can get an outline going on. Outline size one, select color. Black. Nah, we want a bit. We want a bigger outline. Yeah, there you go. All okay, right, here's the lyrics to this song. <laughs> 